What's up, everybody? I'm back at it with another video here. I want to start out by thanking Bud Stoney. Um, I'm sure most of you watching this video are probably already subbed to Bud, um, but he's given me a few shout outs and he's really helping me grow the channel and stay motivated. So thanks, man. I appreciate it. If you're not subbed, go check out the one and only Bud Stoney. Uh, so today I'm going to run through some pickups, eBay. Um, these are all Dave Winfield pickups. Um, I kind of started a Dave Winfield project, um, inspired by some of the collectors on here who really just chased individual players. Um, I'm thinking Sean Tiefert, uh, kind of his Jewish baseball, baseball collection. Uh, I started watching his videos and just was really inspired because I never really collected that way as a kid. You know, I always ripped packs and you know, was a, a rookie hunter um, and, you know, a Red Sox chaser to a degree, um, but never really chased after individual players. So as a kind of fun project, I chose a player. I chose Dave Winfield. So I'm a Red Sox fan. Obviously, Dave was a Yankee and um, Padre and then towards the end of his career, uh, Twins, Blue Jays, Indians. Um, you know, Dave was never maybe one of my absolute favorite players, but I was watching some Dave videos and he just seems like a stand up solid guy. Um, he's a Hall of Famer and he also kind of spans an era in my collecting um, from the 70s into early 90s um, that I didn't really collect a ton of cards. Definitely my collecting was kind of 89 to like 96. That was like the core of my kind of childhood. Um, so just kind of as a, you know, to as a project and as something fun to do to kind of explore a lot of these early sets, I decided, let me try to get the entire Dave collection, at least during his playing career. So that's my goal right now. Um, he's affordable, which is nice. So a lot of these stacks that I picked up, were you know under five dollar stacks plus shipping um for a whole hell of a lot of cards um and you know right now i don't really care about the grading of each card so um so here's my recent dave pickups um so starting out we got a lot of don ross and i just love the look of these cards so 81 82 we got a pair of diamond kings you know, the centering is really off, but, you know, I don't really care right now. Um, at a certain point, you know, I'm going to get rid of my doubles and just kind of keep the best and maybe sell off some lots. But right now, I'm just collecting for the fun of collecting um, and still having a blast with it. Uh, we got 83 Donruss. Just I love the graphics, the bat, the glove, um, even the photography. Uh, it's like a little blurry, it's, you know, it's it's just kind of beyond cards it it points to you know the uh, the times it's a reflection of the times i think so it's really cool 84 85 don russ 86 he's mean mugging in that shot 87 got the diamond kings got this 89 89 mvp this is a pretty more, I think this is pretty modern, maybe 2018. Yeah, we got some tops, we got an all-star. What is this, 86, I believe. Got this Fleer. 88 all-stars, Dave, and you can tell, you know, the corners are banged up on most of these, but I don't care. Here's where it starts to get fun, I think. I love these oddball cards. So Hills, I'm from the Northeast. I believe Hills is a department store of some kind or kind of like a Walmart, Kmart. If anybody knows, throw it down in the comments. But um, I think Dave had a bunch of these. You know, it's just a perfect time, perfect period of card collecting where, you know, KB Toys, Kmart, all of these big chain stores had, you know, agreements with tops to print specific sets so here's a hill set i just think it's really cool and fun these i thought were really cool i picked up a set of three 
Um, these are, I think, Permagraphics, and they're hard. They're like credit cards. Dave Winfield. And then the back, oops, butter fingers here. And the back, it has autograph. So, as a collector of this limited edition Superstar credit card series, you were recognized as a loyal baseball fan and a member in good standing of the elite Superstar fan club. So, like, <laughs> pretty funny. As a kid, I would have been all about this. I would have kept this in my wallet, I think. Um, but just fun, oddball cards. Here's some other ones, 81. 82. Got a few more here. Got these Kellogg's 3D Superstars. Um, fun, cool, oddball. You got uh, a little coin button. Holographic. I think this was, I don't know, somewhere in the 80s. 7 Eleven, 84. I'm not sure if, if people remember, I was born in 85, so this was a year before my time. Were these free giveaways when you bought a Slurpee, or what was the deal with them? I'm not really sure. And last, we got a Sport Flix here. So this just a part of the collection of my Daves. Um, I think I got somewhere around 150 to 200 individual cards, and then a bunch of dupes, so... Uh, this is the latest project among a couple different projects. Uh, just doing a full day run. Uh, so if anybody has some real odd ball, ball days, leave me a comment down below and uh, I might be up for a trade. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully some more content coming soon. Um, I'm going to hopefully get into some response videos. There's some awesome giveaways going on right now. So if time permits, uh, expect some more content. Appreciate you watching. Thanks.